I'll be honest with you guys. I have never been formally trained as a professional wrestler. <laughs> I never had a real trainer, but when I made my debut, um, I wasn't ready. I don't think that if you do a perfect four-step match, that that means you're a good wrestler. I think that if I watch your stuff and I'm entertained, if I can show that match to my friend or my, my dad or my mom, and they can laugh or they can say, hey, that was fun to watch, that's what I think a good match is. And that's kind of why I am sort of a, uh, not a wrestler's wrestler, but I'm more of like a special interest wrestler. But I'm sure you guys do this all the time, just simple rolls. So if we could just get like, let's go. One after another after another. In orderly fashion. There we go, yep, perfect. And it doesn't have to be fast, fast. Where I come from. Uh, so I'll take his arm. Right away he's gonna take mine. No selling. Boom, I just take his arm, he takes mine. He takes mine right back, boom, there we go. There it is. Boom, take it back, boom. He takes it back, boom, I take it back. That's all it is. Just to get your footing in your balance, don't be tripping up over each other. Try to make it smooth. Try to sound as silent as possible. It shouldn't be, you know what I mean? You're gonna get a little bit of noise because the string you know, has loose boards, but it should kind of be elegant and graceful. So, okay, so when you got the hammerlock here, what's happening is you're going like this and he's, he's got nowhere to go because he let go of the hammerlock. So you gotta spin him around his own arm and then that's when you let it go, you know what I mean? So it goes here, spin him around, then let go, boom, bang. If he doesn't want to let go of his hammerlock, take him out of it like I did, you know? But don't hurt him with your partner. And the only thing, the only, the only way that I'm going to be getting involved with this, I'm just going to call a finish. And when I say finish, the guy that's running is going to do a sunset flip. And whether the sunset flip works or the sunset flip is countered, I don't care. But that's the finish to this drill. So if we go by it nice and let's just walk through it. I'll say duck, duck, boom, duck, boom. I'll drop down, boom, I'll pass by, boom, duck, boom, duck, boom. If I say leapfrog, then you'll know that you gotta duck, you gotta trust each other. And eventually, kind of like, you know, run, I'll call finish, okay, you know? Good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hell yeah, watch that headbutt. You scallywag. Duck, sunset, duck, sunset, duck, sunset. One, two, and three. Yay! So, even when, even when I threw him off doing like four or five leapfrogs in a row, that's weird, but he trusted me for the most part. <laughs> Only one time you're like, why the fuck do you keep leapfrogging? It's gotta be wrong. It's hard to do it, and this is just me. I would come off, I'd already be jumping like here. You know what I mean? Get a nice big arc over him. A lot of people like to go over, some people even like a little bit of a backdrop to go into it, because then they can hook under or whatever. I was about to pack it in with wrestling. I was gonna be, I was gonna be through. And I thought, I'm gonna visit a friend of mine <laughs> and maybe take a couple more indie bookings before just packing it in, calling it a day, getting a real job. Um, but as it turned out, uh, those matches led to me coming back here to a place in this building of where Jersey All Pro Wrestling was running. And because wrestling for New Japan, even if you're going out there just to do business, you know, for, for their guys, um, having a DDT performer perform well in front of their crowd in a losing effort is still good for DDT. So I got my first um, tag team run with Ibushi there. Our match there, when we won the belts, won match of the year. So it was like, it was a culmination of having the right ideas, suggesting what the right time, and uh, just 
I guess we were just lucky that no one else was having better matches than us at that time. <laughs> you know? um, and I mean, you look at guys, uh, you know, like Chris Jericho or Christopher Daniels, guys that use it often. In, they're in incredible shape in the ring, and there are they are always making themselves look good and their opponents look good. So um, it's been proven that there are things you can do even on a limited schedule. So yeah. show whatever it is that I am times a thousand in the ring, but it's going to be me. And that's when I started to kind of come up with my own move set rather than just rip things off blatantly from other people. That's when I started to kind of come up with. Um, when I started to approach matches as stories and like narratives rather than like, okay, the bell rings, we lock up. I take your arm, you take my arm, I put you in a headlock and yada, yada, yada. Eventually someone's gotta do a tackle, drop down leapfrog spot. You know what I mean? Eventually someone's gotta do something, the heel's gotta do something dirty and we're in the heat, you know what I mean? And then, you know, we're going home and it's gotta be like this. And every match is like that, and that's why it kind of, it, to me, kind of sucks. There are guys that are really good at it, and I can, you know, the old fan in me, the child fan, you can still watch. And the more I tested myself in any sport that I played, I was always just a guy that could naturally excel at those sports. Any sport that I played, I was always an all-star. And I thought, even though I'm not blessed with these genetics to become humongous, I can do these freakishly athletic things in a ring, so I want to kind of Show uh, my favorite wrestler of all time from WWE. If I were to name top three for you guys, number one, and this is a very common answer for me, is Shawn Michaels. Number two from there, and it may even be tied for number one for me, is Mick Foley, as whatever character, um, Mankind, Cactus Jack, you know, dude, love. Uh, but number three, or like number two, because number one and two are tied. This is going to sound crazy, but it's just my opinion most entertaining performer for me to watch in the ring was Vince McMahon. And I, if you watch his matches, especially watch, uh, it's a tough it's question. A, it's a loaded question. I yeah. I'm just... I can only tell you, based on my experience, how, what, what helped me when I was caught in a rut. When I realized that after my developmental deal that I still wanted to become, or not become, but continue with pro wrestling, uh, a lot of places didn't care that I had the experience being a contracted wrestler for WWE. They didn't care that I went to Deep South Wrestling. They didn't, it didn't make any difference whatsoever. Even when I... So even if you have, even if you're given a bad gimmick or if you want to be healed but you're a baby face, you have to show that you can um, excel at whatever it is that's given with you before you're given that creative outlet to control your own character and your own destiny, I think. Challenge. I want four people, we're gonna do a tag match. Um, but it's a very special kind of tag match. A tag match where we're gonna start from right before the hut comeback. There's gonna be no opening high spot. There's gonna be no establishing of your characters before locking up or anything like that. No entrance music, nothing. Right before, you can take it from the rest hold, right before the baby face or whatever it is, whatever kind of story you want to tell happens, we're going to start the match from there. Like, And this is just me, and this is coming from someone who's done some of the fakest things of all time. When you do your little like uh, Tai Chi push thing, you know, and use the force, I th almost feel like you should still put a little bit more snap into it. Okay. You know what I mean? Add a little bit more force to it. Uh, especially when... You know, Get out of here. Watch out, be careful, be careful. Good, 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 good. Great. I mean, like, if you're giving me little elbows, like, I can't really go like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just can't, because they're, they're so small, that all I can do is kind of go like this. Like, ooh, ow, my spleen, you know? So, um, and when he slammed you to set up for uh, the, the hot tag, that to just everyone taking a bump and going to the finish, it looked like it was every man for himself. I should say, you should be coming up. You shouldn't be at a standing base yet. If we're gonna add some drama to this thing. I come up first, I'm you. And send the people home happy. And um, I can't obviously flick a switch on in your brain and make you think that way. But with time, with practice, um, 
with not being afraid to, to be creative. It's easy, and you guys can do it. And um, that's that. I wish we could.